Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video I'm going to be mixing it up and showing you what AI tools that I'm currently using right now in my day-to-day -day business operations. So you'll see here I'm, I'm on a presentation that I just gave to an organization here where I live locally and one question that I get all the time is, Ryan, what AI tools are you using? And you'll see on the slide here, it lists ChatGPT+, SEO Writing AI, Opus Clip, Adobe Firefly, Claude. Now there's some missing here, but that's the purpose of me making this video is to show you what AI tools I'm using right now, how much they cost, how much I'm spending on a monthly basis on AI tools, and also what tools that you know are free or I might be looking into in the near future. So be sure to stick around towards the end of this video. So diving right in here, the first AI tool that I use, of course, is ChatGPT+. And I said plus, so I am paying $20 a month for the premium version of ChatGPT, which not only gets me higher usage limits, which is the number one reason why I'm paying for it, I get access to custom GPTs, I get access to DALI image generation, so generating images inside ChatGPT. Um, I also get access to data analysis and also early access to new features. So I have a whole video dedicated to the question of is ChatGPT Plus worth it? Be sure to watch that. I'll leave a link to it below if you have if you're wondering my answer to that question or if you're kind of on the fence of should I be paying $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus, that video will tell you everything that you need to know. I believe you should if you're using this tool every day. I explain more in that video. But what do I use this tool for most importantly, right? So number one is ideation. I use it all the time for just general ideation. What are five YouTube video ideas that I can do in my channel? Um, what are 10 social media posts I can post on LinkedIn next week? Uh, what are five blog posts that I should do for my website based on this topic, right? Um, all sorts of ideation that this tool can fuel uh, that is really quite incredible. I also use it for short form and long form content. Um, so writing social media posts, writing ad copy for various marketing clients that I have. Sometimes I'll use it for like local service pages or even long form blog posts. Um, I'll show you a tool that I use for blog posts instead of chat GPT. Um, I also use it for image generation, right? So I'm looking right here. Um, so here's an example that I just did the other week. I redesigned the logo for one of my clients um, and it spelled everything correctly. I was honestly blown away by some of the logos that this tool can create. I had it help me draft a sales email. Um, let's see, another image um, did some research for me. So that's another benefit of ChatGPT Plus is that I can not only do data research and analysis, looking at some of these like academic journals and just providing more data here, provides references, but also you can use it to create interactive graphs now. So here's an interactive pie chart. Um, I asked it to make a, an update here and it made the updates. Um, you can do it this way. That looks like, you know, what you would see in Excel typically. Um, or Word or Microsoft Word. Um, but that is another cool feature here is the data analysis that you can use this tool for. I actually just had it help me with negotiation. So I was negotiating with one of my clients on like a pricing or a monthly retainer price and I needed ChatGPT's help to better negotiate and it did that for me. Um, it also helped me here with summarization. So I'm in the world of SEO, right? There was a huge leak in Google's algorithm a couple weeks ago, if not a month ago, and there was like a 30 minute long read of an article that exposed everything in this leak. Well, who has time to read through 30 minutes of an algorithm leak when all you can do is ask ChatGPT, hey, what are the five biggest points from this article? Now you can also apply this to a long email. So let's say you're at work or you're in general, you have a long email and you don't have time to read through all that. You can give it to ChatGPT and say, hey, summarize this email in three to five bullet points. What am I missing here? You can also ask it for takeaways. Okay, that's cool. Now, how do I use this? How do I, what are the big takeaways from this? You can also do that for a PDF. So if there's a long PDF that you don't want to sit through and read, you can attach it to ChatGPT, ask it a similar prompt, like summarize this PDF for me in five bullet points, make it legible at a sixth grade reading level. And there's all sorts of different iterations that you can do. Uh, but off the top of my head here, and this is off the cuff, guys, this is what I do in these videos for you. I don't have a giant script. I try to make these authentic as possible and show you how I'm using all these tools and all the different AI tutorials I'm doing. Um, but that's what I can think of right here off the top of my head is what I use ChatGPT for on a daily basis. And that is tool number one, most importantly, that I pay for is ChatGPT Plus for $20 a month. 
So the second AI tool that I use, and I actually just stopped paying for this, I was paying an additional $20 a month for this for Claude Pro is Claude. Now Claude just had a huge update where they added a brand new model called Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This is their most intelligent language model now, and this is an alternative to ChatGPT. If you've never heard of Claude, this is a very advanced and sophisticated large language model owned and operated by a company called Anthropic. Uh, they've received billions of dollars from Amazon. They're heavily backed. And again, is becoming that top alternative or competitor to ChatGPT in the LLM space. Now, I love Claude. Claude is so good for reasoning. Uh, it's very good for coding, mathematical problems. I love the outputs that I get in terms of authenticity. Uh, you can, similar to ChatGPT, you can attach PDFs, you can attach images. It has that vision capability. The only thing that Claude's missing is it doesn't generate images. Now, it doesn't have recency as well. I don't believe it can connect to the internet in real time and give you good recency responses to what's the price of this stock? What's the price of Bitcoin? Um, what's the score of this sports game going on right now, right? It lacks that recency element and it also can't generate images. So those are the two downsides of Claude. Um, I have more videos where I give specific examples and I test Claude against GPT. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But here's some of the use cases that I've been using Claude for recently. Um, and so I do, I have a podcast um, and I'm going to actually get into my next tool here too, which is called Opus Clip. And what do I do where I use Claude to help me is I post these short form videos from my podcast on YouTube Shorts, uh, TikTok, Instagram Reels, sometimes LinkedIn. And so what I use Claude for is to help me come up with better titles for these videos and also descriptions based on those titles that are optimized for a certain keyword. So I provide it with the titles of what my short videos are and it makes the titles a little better. And it also gives me an SEO optimized description that I can go in, copy and paste on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, uh, and then auto schedule from Opus Clip. So that's one that I've used it for. I use it for ideation, similar to ChatGPT. I use it for short form copy a lot. Uh, sometimes I'll use it for long form copy as well. Uh, similar use case to what I've been doing with ChatGPT is what I use Claude for. So that is the second AI tool that I use the most is Claude. And I just stopped paying for Claude Pro. So now I'm mostly using the free version of Claude. So I just mentioned this a little bit ago, but the third AI tool that I use is called Opus Clip. Now, Opus Clip is a, a really powerful tool in my opinion. It does cost $19 a month. They have a freemium plan to get started. They give you like an hour's worth of a free clips that you can use up here. But what this does is you give it a long form video, whether it's a YouTube link, a Rumble link, uh, you can upload an MP4 file, which I found is best practice for this tool. And what it does in a matter of about 15 minutes, based on how long the video is that you provide it with, it creates about 15 to 20, uh, this had 22 of these short form clips. So I asked it to generate you know, 30 to 60 second clips. And what it does is it goes through an entire video and not only does it use AI to find the most viral parts of that video, so it breaks it down on the clips that it think could do the best on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, etc. It gives you a virality score and then it gives you different grades on the aspects of the video. So the hook, the flow, the engagement, the trend. Um, it also optimizes it for mobile automatically. And then it also adds subtitles automatically as well. Now there's a lot more sophistications that you can do inside this. Um, but for example, you know, let's do something right off the top here. Let's say I wanted to input this and create short clips from one of my YouTube videos. So I would click share, copy and paste the YouTube link, come back to Opus Clip, drop it up here. And then it would give me a lot of options here. So I'm gonna give it, you know, give it a little bit here. And then once I upload that video or copy and paste the link, you'll see here it has these custom caption presets. So you can do all sorts of different presets. I like this Think Media one. There's this simple one that Lex Friedman does, um, Popline, and there's all sorts of these other ones. But you can pick whatever you want here. And then you can process the entire video, which is what I usually do. And then you can also do your preferred clip length. So I always do 30 seconds and 30 and 60 seconds um, because YouTube shorts, you can't do over a minute. That's why I keep it under 60 seconds. So that's how you would do it here. I have a full tutorial on Opus Clip for more details. Um, but then what it does based on that, again, is it creates all these short clips that I have now at my disposal. So I can not only come in here and edit these clips one by one if I wanna do that, I can download these in HD as MP4 files and upload them natively to a given platform. But here's the kicker guys, here's the best part of Opus Clip 
is I can integrate my social media accounts right inside this platform and auto post. So I have my YouTube account right here. So if you go to the shorts portion of my AI Insider Tips channel, you'll see all sorts of clips and they come directly from Opus Clip automatically. Same with TikTok. You can do the same with LinkedIn, same with Instagram Reels. You know, whatever your preferred platform is, you can publish straight from Opus Clip. If I click calendar up here, you'll see this is in beta mode. You'll see you can schedule out content for days, weeks, and months. So I have shorts scheduled out up until July 24th, which is almost a month from the day I'm recording this video. So really powerful tool that I use all the time. And this is Opus Clip. So another AI tool that I'm using, and this costs $12 a month since I am on the annual plan is called SEO writing.ai. Now this does cost yeah, I'm on the $144 a year plan, so it breaks down to about 12 bucks a month. If you don't wanna pay for the annual plan, you can pay for the monthly plan. Um, I believe that costs, I don't see it right here, but at least like 19 or 20 bucks a month, pretty inexpensive. Um, but anyways, SEO writing AI is my favorite long form AI writing tool. There's so much that you can do here. The interface looks very simple and not very sophisticated, which I actually like. Um, you can click what's new, and you'll see here they add all sorts of this, these features and new updates every single week, it seems like. And that's why I become such a big fan of this tool is that the operators behind SEO writing AI are always updating it. it seems with new features here, right? So Claude 3.5 Sonnet just rolled out. They already uploaded that into the platform. Uh, more improvements on June 19th with enhanced generation quality. Um, let's see here. They added more WordPress integration, superior external linking, citation fixes. And so if we actually go into the interface of this tool, you can do bulk article generation. But honestly, I would avoid that as Google is penalizing bulk generated AI content. I would I prefer the one click blog post option. That's a really effective tool that you can use. Uh, you can do something for product reviews, blog posts, product roundups, um, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, if you click one click blog post, you can literally create a high quality AI generated blog post in a matter of minutes. So you give it your keyword, it can even generate a title for you based on that keyword, or you can create your own title. You can save a template, which is really cool to come back and do this over again. Um, it gives you the core settings. So tone of voice, point of view, um, humanized text. You can give it you know, what reading level you want for the, the text to humanize it, um, article size, you can also di differentiate the models here, which is really cool, right? So you can do uh, GPT-4.0, Claude 3 Sonnet, Claude 3 Haiku, uh, GPT-4 Turbo, Claude 3 Opus. It has all these different models that you can do in your AI article output. You can also give it details, which is very big, right? It gives you uh, 500 characters worth of details that you can give these this tool with SEO writing AI to make sure that it is giving all the exact details you want in a given blog post. It can also generate images. It can embed YouTube videos. You give it your target keyword so it knows what keywords to optimize for in its outputs. You can give it certain structure limitations, conclusion, tables, H3, lists, FAQs, key takeaways, quotes, italics. You can even do external linking now. And one of the best part is you can connect to the web. So if there are links from articles that you wanna replicate or like use it as a basis, you can source links. So I can go in here, real-time search results, URL reference. You can list three URLs that you can have this tool scrape and kind of use those as a reference for generating articles. They have an outline editor. And you can also integrate this directly with your website. So I have a plugin here that I've integrated with AIinsiderTips.com on WordPress. And you can publish this straight from this tool into WordPress, publishing straight onto your website seamlessly. Now you can do the bulk generated version too, but I would suggest avoiding that. Uh, but long story short, guys, this is the tool that I use for my blog posts on my website. I'll actually go to that really quickly here to show you what I mean at AIinsiderTips.com. Um, but that is SEO writing.ai. I've used it to write all these uh, different blog posts here, five best custom GPTs. Uh, SEO writing AI wrote that one. SEO writing AI has probably written half the content on this website. Some of it ranks, some of it doesn't. It's just the name of the game with AI content. Um, so if I click into this one, SEO writing AI wrote this one. There's the key takeaways, the tables, um, the FAQs that I asked for. Very, very high quality AI article writer. And I do have a special discount that you can find below this video if you are interested in SEO writing AI. And again, you can find that below the video, but that is my third AI tool that I use is SEO writing AI. 
So the next AI tool that I'm using is called Fireflies AI. And why this is so revolutionary is that it, it acts as a meeting assistant. So if I click on the pricing here, I believe it's fairly inexpensive. There's a free plan for individuals just starting out. That's what I would recommend you do. Uh, it also costs $10 a month per seat, which is very inexpensive in the scheme of things if you have a lot of meetings. But what this does is it acts as your personal meeting assistant. So if you have meetings on Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, um, whatever your meeting platform is, as it says right here, this pops in as a meeting guest. And what it will do is it will record the entire meeting so you can come back to the meeting. It'll transcribe the meeting and also create action items based on the transcription of that meeting. So let's say you're in count, like I've been in countless meetings I don't want to sit in. Well, let's say your boss or someone important said something and you can't remember what they said. Well, with Fireflies AI, you can go back to the platform, look at the transcription of the meeting, find exactly what you know, you're know you looking for in the meeting as it took notes for you, and then you can go back and then do whatever you need to based on those notes. So uh, basically this is an AI note taker during meetings and it's very efficient, uh, it's very, very effective. And I've used this for every single meeting that I have with my clients, um, you know, meetings with other important people that I'm doing meetings with, whatever the case of the meeting is, I use Fireflies AI for everything, just a really good AI meeting assistant. Now, when it comes to generating AI images, I am using Dolly inside ChatGPT. It's part of that $20 a month ChatGPT Plus plan. Um, I use it for generating logos. I use it for generating backgrounds of YouTube thumbnails, general images for ads. Um, I use it for blog post cover images. And if you don't want to pay $20 a month, what you can do is actually access this on the Copilot Designer. So it's bing.com forward slash images slash create used to be called the Bing image creator. For those who have heard of that term, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Um, so if you're looking for a way to generate AI images for free, this is where I would start. I also sometimes use Leonardo AI. This is another free AI image generator. I've mentioned this in several of my videos related to AI image generation. Um, that's what I would use if you don't want to pay for a premium one. If you want to pay for premium images, I'd recommend getting Mid Journey for $10 a month and also Adobe Firefly. I do have Adobe Firefly as it's part of my Photoshop package that I use. Um, but long story short, I mostly use Dolly inside ChatGPT Plus to generate images, which is can also be found on the Microsoft Copilot Designer for free. And also I use Leonardo AI sometimes. So those are the free AI image generators that I use in my AI tool stack. But that's it guys, just circling back here really quickly, I do spend about $50 a month on AI tools and I use ChatGPT+, the free version of Claude, SEO Writing AI, Opus Clip, Leonardo AI, uh, Adobe Firefly, and also Fireflies AI, which is actually missing from this slide here, I just realized. So, um, but that's it guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope that gave you some direction on if you're considering some AI tools, you know, what's worth it, what's not worth it. Hope this fueled some inspiration or ideation if you guys haven't heard of some of these AI tools. I know I watch videos like this all the time to get ideas about what AI tools I should be using or you know, are there tools out there I don't know exist, right? So if you've made it this far in this video, Truly appreciate you all for being here. Be sure to subscribe to AI Insider Tips if you haven't already for more you know, detailed videos just like this one. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this style of video. Also guys, please leave me a comment below. Do you, are you using the tools that I'm using? What AI tools are you, are you using? I'm very curious to hear what AI tools you guys are using so I can look into them myself and maybe start testing out some new tools for my workflow. So the very last thing that I want to mention here is I do have a free guide on the best AI side hustles, and you can find that below this video in the description or pinned comment. Now, with this free guide on AI side hustles, I'll show you how I've made more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. And I've done this through various different AI side hustles, which I explain in this free guide. And again, you can find that below this video. So again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Really appreciate you all being here if you've made it this far, and I hope you all have a great day.